All right, there you go, Spec. <laughs> well, the first part you didn't see it, so. I didn't see the first part. Uh, I can't remember him going there, but what you told me is uh, he wasn't that great. No, he wasn't. But yeah, so to give everyone a uh, sort of a little context, so. I was invading at in Ring City, and you joined my party. I don't know why. No, we were I think we were talking about, about the two v two. Yeah, about the journey. Yeah. And, and, and what I remember, you were trying to co invade with Dante. Oh yeah, I was trying to co invade with Dante, and then I got these uh, these shitters. I mean, they're just. Yeah, I guess they're just gankers until the last, uh, <laughs> until the last member. Last one was a shitter, though. <laughs> it is true. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at them like with four of them against one dude. They're, you, you see it, right? You see the uh, the screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching it. Four people. Okay. Uh, he's lagging right now. Yeah. So. I mean, they were not like that great, but at the same time, they were not, you know, for four people, they're still pretty difficult. But I think that's why I asked for your help, since you were not doing anything. No, I, was, uh, no, I asked if you were, uh, what you're doing, and you were uh, saying that I'm invading shitters right now. And I was like, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna eventually, get on. Yeah, eventually my co invader died, and that's when you, you came in. Yeah, I remember now. It's unfortunate that we don't have the audio for this because I think the like in the moment conversation because we were in party when that happened. I think it would have been even better, but oh well, maybe next time. I mean, the two v two tourney has that, so yeah, true. It's just that this one was special. <laughs> yeah, a VC co invasion. How often do you see those? Dude, I think I've only had like. I've had like a few of them with Vale one day and then with you that day and I don't even remember the other time if I ever had any other. I had one with Halloween and one history and two was pretty damn epic. I think I got like one or two with Castle like years ago. Castle in Dates? Castle. No he doesn't. It's really because we weren't party. I might be wrong, it might I, be someone else. I'm surprised so that he invaded once. What I know about him, he won't be the wolf. But yeah. So, what I remember, uh, the mage uh, didn't really have uh, any HP. Yeah. And Eric King was laden. Uh, yeah. And the guy I can't remember the And this, this, is when, this is when you join in. <laughs> This is when uh, it starts to get sour for them. <laughs> to be honest, 30 minutes of uh, ladder fights. Okay, yeah, uh, I spoiled a little bit, for that, but yeah. So I don't know if you want to comment on that or if you want to skip the uh, most. No, just just wait for it because <laughs> there's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be plenty of time to talk about that. <laughs> oh my god. So I mean the uh, like the version we're watching right now, it's it's um, it might be a bit skippy, but the actual vid, you know, the frames are not dropping or anything. It's really just yeah, because uh, uh, we're so watching front straight from the re the uh, the editing software. Yeah, I remember switching to Cell Swords here because I wanted to finish somebody off quickly and the mid was very squishy. Yeah, he was really squishy. Actually, like, four shot was enough to, to kill him, but I don't actually know when we kill anyone in this. I mean, it's still a four-man gank. I think it took us a little bit before taking out everyone. It didn't take long. The mage was the first from what I remember. And he was very squishy. What is your appreciation of invasions like this where you have 
you know, someone in the party like that. Oh, they're fucking amazing. Better than game. Yeah. I wish Elden Ring had something like this, or if it has no agent, so so. But honestly, only... sorry, go ahead. But the only way I would enjoy uh, coming with agents like this, or something as enjoyable as this, is to do you know, those are not active. Yeah. Two v two tourney was fun. Uh, the tourney I had with Devil was actually pretty damn fun as well. Yeah. That's when was the tourney you did with Devil? Like a few months back. Oh, okay. Okay, so it was before hours, not more recently. Way back. At least four months ago. Wait, wasn't it on PC? Oh, it was on PlayStation. It was a Tornado 2 tourney. Oh my god, okay, that's why. I d yeah, I didn't see it, that's why. I remember you told me about it, but I didn't see the actual matches. Yeah, it wasn't that great. To be honest, we did a lot of dumb mistakes. Well, but, uh, to be fair, Devil doesn't have as much uh, tournament experience either. But I'm not bothered about it, I was just happy yeah, with yeah. what we got. How cute. <laughs> Now about Elden Ring though, uh, what I was about to say is that at the same time like there is a good chance there might be like no like there's a good chance there's they might there might only be like one invader. I saw uh, there you know, is only four players lobby. from what I saw. Yeah, exactly. But well, at the same time there's also another chance that that number might be off because I heard they also announced Dark Souls 3 uh, at the very very beginning as a four uh, four men or four men multiplayer game as well. I heard that. So maybe, right. yeah, maybe that number is uh, it's off. So if it's off though, I'd, I'd say there's a good chance that we might be able to co-invade since they're like sort of adding this sort of universal password kind of thing, where you do like activities with the same group. That would be epic. Imagine meta invaders like having their password. Yeah, honestly, that'd be kind of cool. Game covenants, you know, yeah, we'll bloodshed the uh, flashbacks. <laughs> that could be a thing. I mean, it would be really cool if that's a thing. I just hope that the uh, the four player number is, you know, not real. Uh, I hope so too. I mean, it seems cool at first. Oh yeah, this is the part where I tried to uh, use throwing knife, but I ran out of stamina and he was spamming. Yeah. yeah. It was really dedicated of staying on that ladder. He's more yeah, dedicated he... than Jamil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while you were fighting that guy, I was trying to finish off the last one, but the last one was the most uh, latent one of the bunch, so... I didn't want to get parried, so I was taking my time a bit more. Although I pulled out the Red Hilted to... Because uh, the Red Hilted is extremely yeah. hard to parry. And very uh, good on latency, you can't space it. Yeah. And takes all your stamina if you try to parry it. Yeah, and you got stun priority and uh, counter hit damage and even double hit. All that kind of sweet, <laughs> sweet stuff. <laughs> all the latency goodies just comes with it. Like that? Yeah, it just happened, yeah, right there. But yeah, I mean. <laughs> Host was already getting some help there. I think you had to go down, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I had to, to go, finish like, out those guys. That. The host wasn't yes. going anywhere. If he, if he was, oh, no. he, would, he would waste uh, his opportunity to stall us and annoy us. But I mean, later on he tried to... Uh... I'm just gonna wait for it. <laughs> Yeah, no spoilers yet. Yeah, no spoilers. I mean, it's just... <laughs> I to, like to uh, to record this since it was like on the... Uh, uh, on the PlayStation, you know, kind of recording. I had to re-watch the whole thing pretty much and record it as I was watching it. Like directly from the media gallery. So like, it's pretty much all fresh in my head since I rewatched it all. Okay, so spec this is the moment right there this is the this is where the ladder uh, tech teamwork comes in okay yeah 
So... I remember uh, saying that I needed a Blizzard War Banner for this one. I didn't have it, I think. Yeah, the ultimate ladder attack. 10% more uh, kick damage and regen at the same time. Oh yeah, Blessed War Banner, that's good. Alright, before I go, I remember not being too rusty for uh, ladder uh, fights. So uh, I was basically just taking hits uh, in this one and refilling, but it didn't matter. Yeah, so also for the people wondering, like we didn't uh, refill or anything until like we kind of realized that this guy was just gonna sit on the ladder like that. But I didn't even S this cancel at the start until I realized they were shitters. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah pretty much. But yeah, here, um, like here, I was trying to f figure out a way. Like, you're gonna see this lagging like this, but it's because it's sped yeah, up. Know. Like the uh, the actual version is not laggy like that. But yeah, that it's, it's it was about like at this moment that that I started to think about like a way to help you out and sort of hit the guy while you were on the ladder. I was surprised you actually found all these spots to be honest I was excited for this video because of this <laughs> yeah you didn't see it like you didn't see any of it I, I didn't see this spot at all okay yeah so yeah this is the first spot uh, it could only hit him there uh, when he was like at, at about this height like the height you're, uh, you're at now he can survive the catering uh, jump from that I'm pretty sure yeah so like this spot, like you're already too high there. I think that was like one of the only time I managed to hit him. There's a... Uh... It's like too tight, like as soon as you go a bit higher, like I get out of the, uh, this, the, the wind range and it just can't hit anymore. And Tailbone Spear is just a blessing. It is such a blessing. Thank you. It really side. is. Yeah. So yeah, for the, like after that I realized that it wasn't working, so I was looking for other spots, like I was kind of going around the map looking at what, you know, where I could go and I, I was just trying to figure out how we could make this work, but ultimately I didn't find anything, so I ended up going back to the same spot to, I don't know, try different angles. <clears throat> But yeah, you were way too high for me to, to reach at this point, and I, I kind of knew it. Yeah, I think I, I told you at this point to try to go down a little bit, so I yeah, could... Yeah, to bait him. He was yeah, to caught. bait him. Yeah. And so, I yeah, I, he did go down. Try to get you. I did not even hit him there, that's crazy. I don't know if you realized at this point. Surprised he didn't get any close uh, right now. But you can see the wind like right like through the wall there on your screen. But yeah, I mean, this part was sort of in vain, because uh, we're just out of range. I, I think it's about at this point that I start using uh, Bow Glitch with the Wind Spear to not waste FP on it, so... You can actually use less FP with the crossbow, and then sw uh, swap to uh, Tailbone. I didn't really think about that, but... I mean, it doesn't really matter because I think I regen FP with uh, some Cestus after that. But yeah, at this point, I'm just trying to figure out like how I could reach him because I know, like, it, like at the height he is now, I can't reach. I think I'm about at this point that I switch to. Uh... Yeah, it's about at this point that I switch to uh, to the Great Bull even fire from that I don't think so because these are solid walls I think this oh, was really? the point where I, yeah this was the point where I told you that uh, I needed to refill oh right yeah that's true I 
lifted I lift a fair chunk of this. <laughs> I could have sped this up maybe a little bit more. Okay, there you go. How long is this uh with the uh, the speed? Uh the whole vid? Yeah. It's about 30 minutes. It's, it's still fairly long. I wanted to keep like at least the part so that people understand that like you know we're switching position because if it's all sped up like they might not uh, realize. Understand. But yeah, still yeah, 30 the... minutes of ladder fights. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, all the ladder parts where there's nothing going on, I pretty much just sped it up. So yeah, like at this point you were out of Estes, so I went back to uh pretty much take your spot so that he was he was still busy but i didn't like run away because i mean he could have just run away if we uh if we didn't stay on him or refill oh yeah or refill yeah we didn't want him to refill i remember i don't remember why i went back up i think i was trying to i think i told you that i wanted to bait him down so that you could get him with something, if I yeah, remember correctly. You said, you said that. I'm pretty sure you said that uh, uh, at the very beginning, when he was uh, on the ladder. Yeah, because I was not making like any progress against him on the ladder. Like this guy was a professional ladder fapper. <laughs> like seriously. Like the dude was not bulging at all. So yeah, I think yeah, we switched position again there. So that you just pretty much just sat on him. I think I refilled too at this point. Yeah. Man, the dedication of fucking this guy though. Like he really did not want to lose. And we went with it. <laughs> we fucking went with it. We did not let him win either. <laughs> we did not want to lose as well, but our dedication was more. Yeah. Yeah, for you no, know, for everyone watching, like the whole time that this was happening, me and Spec were talking and you know just having fun and, and party. So I mean, I hope he was alone, not speaking to anyone, and that it was extremely boring for this host. Oh, you had the war banner, okay. I didn't have it blessed. Yeah. Yeah, the ultimate ladder tech, blessed war banner. Okay, yeah, I think it's about at this point that I, I'm trying to think of different strats, so I pull out the great bolt to try to <laughs> get an explosion through the wall, but I mean, yeah, it's not even close. It's just not enough. Yeah, I tried to get another angle from the outside, like, you know. Maybe through the rock or something. But like, just the angle that I see your name sort of moving through the rock, I know that there's way too much space. So I can't, I can't reach, I don't even try it. Never know, maybe they forgot to uh, put some collision in those rocks. But I guess they did. They're not too lazy. And this is the moment where I try to find other spots. Like I'm thinking, okay, what else is there? Because I pretty much like scouted the entire side of the, of the map there, but the only place I didn't check was like on the other side. So I pretty much go to the Medir room there, the next place I thought of, and holy shit, it's actually right next to you guys. <laughs> Surprised. How many spots were there? Actually, one. I there was, was there was three spots like during this vid i found like three spots to actually tailbone uh the dude through the wall i don't know why i didn't switch to uh there. there you go also it was annoying like i had to like back steps back step like three three or four times to not hit the wall while doing it There you go. Finally hit him. And he keeps going oh, up. Do yeah, he doesn't realize guys? that. Yeah, it's make, he's making it easier. 
But yeah, I mean, free aiming those was kind of uh, like super annoying, as you see there, like because the spear keeps hitting the wall. It was glorious, though. Yeah, I mean, it was all worth it. I've never seen anyone like kill a host like this. Well, I mean, technically, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it further. <laughs> You might want to cut it out. Yeah, just cut it out from the video. Yeah, no spoilers. Oh, uh, it's fine, it's fine. So what was going through your mind? <laughs> yes, this what's going on. You were just sitting there and just waiting for the like, host. Is this guy gonna sit on this ladder forever, or is he gonna <laughs> uh, go to the uh, give up and go to the top and let us kill him? That's what was going on in my mind. It was getting pretty damn high there, so I think I I don't know if I gave up on that spot. I think I could have still hit him if I kept going and like made it really tight I think I could still hit him but I think I was thinking that maybe it would work from uh, from a different spot there yeah I think I was hitting you with him uh, there so that was the compromise oh okay yeah I remember I had to go uh, at this point yeah I told you that hey I need to go I'm not gonna uh, use any seek bros just in case this guy uh, has uh, more uh, healing items than me yeah yeah I think that's pretty yeah yeah he was getting pretty far from this range too like I could still hit him but I was clipping you uh, with him as I was doing it at this place because he was at the very very top of the ladder yeah I think that yeah that's exactly like at this moment that you told me that you were getting low and I decided to uh I mean not decided but I needed to come back to, uh, to back you up and do like last time let you refill yeah, I saw this spot right there like as I was going uh toward you I saw this spot, like, because I saw the name through the wall, and I was like, oh shit, this spot is gonna work too. It was uh, higher than Medir's room, right? Yeah, this one was higher than Medir. It's like basically, uh, I mean, right after the Medir bridge, really. Yeah, you could hit him at the top. Yeah. So, three spots to actually hit on the ladder. I think you can hit pretty much any spot on the ladder from those three spots. Like, at the very bottom, I think you can reach with knife. Uh, and then the the first spot, I think, Elapsed like, any height right. until the middle, you can pretty much reach there. And then Elapsed afterward, the midir, the top, like, the top half until the top, you can reach there. And then the last spot, you can reach the very, sorry, the very top. I don't know how useful this is going to be for people because I mean usually if you get into this situation uh, I mean you're most likely going to be alone versus a host like that so Get a black crystal Yeah to be honest I don't think it's going to be very useful for most people but I mean there's still a slight chance it might you know maybe you get a uh, a co-invader that, that knows the strat that also sees this vid or if you get two people that I kind of know what's going on and you got a host that's just sitting on that ladder wait did i go back to the midir room again uh, what no is no 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 i'm not at the midir room okay or am i uh, because he wasn't that high oh okay yeah yeah he went back down a bit i think yeah there you go yeah, I think I yeah I went back to the Medir room the Medir room because he went down. There you go, and now he went back up. And this is when I I decide to try the uh, the other spot above the Medir.
And this is the final final spot. And you just line up perfectly. Look at that. <laughs> He's just sitting right there. It takes me a, a little while though to adjust the uh, uh, the spear properly to, to always hit him. Also, I don't know what causes it. I don't know if you see it on screen. The um, like sometimes I hit the wall and then I redo the weapon art again and it like does tw like two in a row, like it, that. Uh, it hits the. It does the weapon art even though you hit the wall. Yeah, pretty much. Weird. I'm not sure about it, but maybe because you hit the wall, uh, the wall later in the animation. But I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, I mean it was quite useful because sometimes I would hit him twice doing that, but that was not on purpose. Man, this must have been so boring for you. You're just sitting there. <laughs> uh, I was just chilling in VC. This was like, if I was doing it in uh, stream alone, I'll probably do black. Right. Yeah, but since we were both like off stream, we had like sort of no pressure, whatever, and just chilling in voice chat. Man, this hulls had so many eels though, like seriously. Like who goes to the ladder with that many eels? I don't know. I thought he had more you... booze as well. Maybe he's like, uh, you know, one of those who like uh, a lot only eels and like one blue or no blue. Like some people actually do that. Miyazaki liked us and didn't give him any blues. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> uh, what would he do with blue though? Eh, just tall. Make us busy, I guess. But... Oh. Oh. <laughs> the moment. This is your moment. <laughs> he finally gets up the ladder. Perseverance. Yeah. Oh yeah, more furs. Yes, yeah. So this is where the your little chase begins. <laughs> I remember having like my rings uh, set up so confusing that I didn't even bother swapping cat ring because I wanted to stay. Oh right. Me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The biggest mistake was using Marfa against him. I I didn't swap that as well. Thorn's armor is very good against slash damage. Yeah, I remember uh, I was in the VC with you and I was telling you exactly what he was doing so he wouldn't yep. ladder cheese us. So you would uh, beat him to the ladder. Or the elevator, yeah. Yeah, sorry, the elevator. Uh, yeah, you were I'm telling surprised. me where you were going, so... Because we knew, we kind of knew he was going to the boss to, you know, get a final fog wall on us. Yeah. So, you told me sit on the elevator at this very moment, I remember. You said just sit on the elevator, don't let him use it. So that's exactly what I did there. Yeah. But yeah, he kept, like, going back and forth. I don't know if he could hear the elevator. I, he might have, because he, he changed uh, no, direction at about the same time, so... I don't know if it's possible to hear it from there. No, it's not possible, it's way too far. Maybe it was just a coincidence then. Maybe because I was just too close to him. But holy shit, who faps that fast? Yeah, I fap pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I could see you. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. Like, I can see your it's little fun. name tags from down there. So, having a visual there, like, every time I see him being closer to this side, I just pull the elevator back up so that if somehow he managed to go through us, he doesn't have the elevator. But, I mean, he's not supposed to go through there anyway. 
Oh yeah, I remember telling you the block, what, uh, what's it called? The... Uh... Yes, this. No, no, not... Uh, uh, the block the there, I forgot what it was. The way to Medir's room. Forgot what the bomb yeah. name was. But it was a very, uh, a very small hall, uh, hallway. And he kept changing direction, I don't know why he was doing that. I think he might have been just trying to lose you. I mean, clearly it was not working. <laughs> Like, clearly. Yeah, I remember, like, at about this point, you were telling me he's going there. No, he's going there, because he kept switching direction. Yeah, it was confusing a little bit, even for yeah. me. Well, here's the thing. I tend to call out things as soon as they happen. Sometimes it's... Uh, uh, my friends in uh, DVD tell me that, hey, you... You called that uh, that too soon. It's that that didn't actually happen or something like that, and it's usually ends up bad. But in Dark Souls, it's not. I mean, Dark Souls is not really a you know call out heavy game. Like you rarely get situations like this. Like our two v two tourney is probably like the most call out or communication intensive like sort of stuff you can have. But uh, honestly, though, in that tournament. I was so fucking tired that I barely called out anything. Like I was way too tired. I was about to fall asleep between the rounds. Like seriously. I remember a few bombs got me uh, uh, blended uh, pretty heavily. Like uh, with Limbo, those bombs were pretty damn deadly. And this is my my moment of glory right there. This is uh, a <laughs> the G9 lap scare. <laughs> Just Got look at back. your screen, it's like, it's like it's just a fucking lap standing there. <laughs> he said, nope, <laughs> he just turned around. He said, I ain't about that. It's funny because he get. Sure. I'm Sorry, pretty sure ahead. he didn't see it because he was locked on to me. So he didn't see you at the, at the very last minute, so he was like, yeah. oh no. <laughs> you had to. You know, so people understand, like, I was not going to attack him because there was no way I could let him, like, go through that. Uh, it would have been, like, a huge mistake to to try to rush in and gank with you, uh, gank this guy with, with, with you. It would have gave him an opportunity to, uh, Escape. Uh, to just fog wall us. So, like, my job there, like, I understood that you pretty much had him and it was just a matter of time. And my job was just to block off his exit. How did that blue die, by the way? I don't know, actually. He just fell off somewhere. <laughs> he just died on his own. Thank you, Miyazaki. Yeah. That also, is uh... The murky. Damage yeah. was... Uh, a lot better than harm. Against Thorn's armor, but... Uh, oh yeah, that's it. There you go. Got Thorn's armor against Regen and the Grim Point down for the finish. <laughs> well, GG, Spec. Oh, GG, G.